I'll show you how to make this uh, kind of a project where you have a menu you can slide uh, from left and uh, hide again. So I'll try to make a new project and uh, show you how I have made uh, something like this. So here in uh, wireframe CC, I've made uh, some kind of wireframe here where I, I have my elements. I have the menu uh, button up here, and I have a a, <coughs> a, a co container view here and a, a horizontal view, or yeah, horizontal view is okay. Um, and inside this, I have uh, another horizontal view uh, with a large uh, size. Um, it, the size is uh, the width of the device plus uh, two times the width of uh, my menu. So I have the menu over here and uh, double uh, the same space over here. This uh, one is uh, the white one is an element that uh, a vertical arrangement that I used to to expand my menu into the scene. So you see here in the next uh, picture, this one is expanded and uh, it pushes uh, my menu uh, visible, and the content is pushed. Uh, outside the right side of the scene. So this is what I'll try to make in App Inventor. So I start with my menu button up here. This could also be a hamburger uh, icon, but I just use this for now. So then I need my first container. Make this fill parent, fill parent. Okay. And so I have a horizontal arrangement inside this one. And I give this a name. Slide container. And I give the height of uh, fill parent here, and also width of fill parent. So I change this uh, width in uh, in the code to twice the menu size uh, plus the size of the device. So I just do this in the screen initialize. So I I. Set a value for my menu uh, size here to say 150. So I <coughs> set the side container, slide container width to, and then we do some math here. Um, So my decision is to have two times uh, let's see, 150 
pixels. I could make this uh, uh, dynamic by <coughs> taking it from the width of my buttons in the menu, but uh, now I've just used 150. And here I have to have the screen uh, device size. So. <coughs> and then uh, I have this outer container and uh, <coughs> in runtime, <coughs> sorry, I have to put uh, the align horizontal to center, then uh, it will divide equally uh, the, the overflow space in each side. But for now I keep it left uh, because then I can see what I'm, I'm doing. So I first need a vertical arrangement. And I rename this to uh, push container. <clears throat> and uh, just for visual pleasure, I give this uh, uh, height of uh, fill parent, I give it uh, one pixels uh, size. And uh, background color none. Okay, and I can put a, a background image on my on my scene here, screen one. Here's this one. That was a large image, but a nice one. It's a sketch from my game Monkey City. Oh, it's large. Okay, can't see anything here, but um, it's there. I give this background color none, and this one too. Thank you. Okay, it's there. And uh, what's up, Duck? I have to make my menu now. <clears throat> so I, I make a vertical arrangement, another vertical arrangement, and the height of fill pan here. No, automatic, so it's the height of uh, the content. And uh, here you can make some nice menu I just uh, use uh, five buttons here and I give this uh, with 150 Okay, and uh, you can put uh, some spacer in between. You can use labels, or you can use uh, horizontal arrangement or vertical arrangements. So I just give this uh, let's use some black and uh, height of. Uh, one pixel and width of fill parent. So <coughs> I'll just make this five times, four times. Would be nice to be able to copy and paste this kind of stuff. So you don't have to do all this kind of 
writing dense. Makes me insane. Okay, now, now it's uh, it's finished. Uh, we have our vertical arrangement here. We have our push container, <clears throat> and then now we need our content. This one. So I make another <coughs> vertical arrangement. And uh, with, hmm, good question. I try 100% here. And uh, height, I try also, no, I make it fill parent. Okay, 620. So inside my con content view, I can put the label with some text inside. <coughs> Just take this. So, okay, let's see how it uh, it looks. <clears throat> okay, here we are. So uh, I have my text here, and I uh, have my button, and I have my background, and I uh, I can't read the text. So this is no good uh, interface, but uh, it's only a, a test here. So uh, I have to make uh, some kind of. Uh, darkness to my background and the white color to to the text for example um, so, or make the, the background image even uh, lighter but uh, now I have to when I press the button here I would like to expand my um, push container here in uh, an animation so it will be visible the, the menu will be visible and my uh, Content will slide to the right here. So let's make this happen. <clears throat> Hopefully. So I'll I'll save my project. And I open my um, a previous project called animation here and I go into the block editor and I just uh, pick my blocks here to to work on this So I have the screen initialized, and I also have a screen initialized here. So what's the uh, what's the content here? I I just um, copy this one. So now I have a copy. Only one screen initializer. So <clears throat> I have uh, the width of vertical arrangement to uh, no, I can't use this.
I think I'll just forget about this. Okay, I need a clock so I can push uh, in uh, in an interval. So I go here to media, you no know, sensors, and uh, find a clock, and I set the time to. Uh, let's start with uh, fifty. And <clears throat> not enabled. We only want to enable when we push the menu button. Toggle menu button. So I had one here. Button six, it says, but it should be toggle menu button here. And I have a flag here called a menu open, so I can toggle. And I start with, with uh, to set it false. And I have another distance from left. I know this is uh, 150. So now see what's in the toggle button. If uh, not global menu open, uh, no, not false. It's true. Set clock timer enabled to true. So my clock will start. Else uh, set horizontal arrangement to. This should be my push. Um, and it's a vertical arrangement, so I have to make this another one. So I find my push container here, set the push width to. So I just collapse it in one shot. Uh, you could make a, an animation here too, but uh, uh, we we'll just made one, just like <coughs> when we started. So. I start my timer if uh, the menu is not open, and if it's open, I just collapse the push container and I set the menu open to false again. <clears throat> and uh, yeah. Okay, and it's in the timer here. I have to have this to push size here up like this one up here. Duplicate. No, it's not this. I have to have the value of my push container, the width of my push container. <laughs> Here yeah. and I've, I've, I've uh, added a number here because I found it it was not totally inside the so you could call this a marking or something. You can make a if it's not showing totally mark marking two five. And if it's not necessary, you can just uh, make it zero. I start with zero to see if how it, it goes. And uh, my distance from left. So if a uh, push container with plus a margin is less than a uh, global distance from left, so, so that is uh, the magic number 150, could also uh, read the the width of my uh, uh, menu container called this one. 
menu container. <coughs> Then I set the this one should also be uh, the push width. Yeah. So this was not a good example of uh, using code from another project because it's uh, I made some other arrangements here. Sorry about that. But uh, I I add five here, and it's also a magic number, but this number is uh, my animation uh, value, uh, speed you can call it. So I make this one uh, uh, in combination with the timer uh, uh, interval uh, speed. So five. I don't know why you can only print or take type the number if you do it twice. So else if if it's uh, larger than then set a push container to global distance from. So if it larger, set it to this one plus uh, plus my marking. No, I added this to. Why did I do that? Marking global marking. Yeah, I did it yeah. here. So I have to this one plus this one. Okay, if it's larger than hmm, I just set it to uh, my distance from left, 150 plus uh, uh, eventually necessary marking. And I set the global uh, menu uh, boolean to true and I stop my timer enabled. So now I think it should work. Let's see. Okay, now it started and uh, try it here, and it slides in very fast. So I tried to to lower the the clock here. I set it to five hundred. Let's see how that functions. Oh, something wrong. Okay, I see it, it here. It's uh, this one. It's still a horizontal arrangement. So this one should be push container width. So I just have to find this. It's here. Duplicate. Okay, let's try now. Whoa, so now it's going really slow. So uh, I put this back to 50. Yeah, uh, it's looking nice. 
I think I'll make it even faster. So 16 here. I could make the speeds uh, a large number, but uh, now I hope it will be smooth here. Yes. Not that smooth, but uh, it's okay. You can uh, set the speed here to 10. Twenty. Oh, I have to initialize again. No, no, it's it's fine. So this is how you can make a menu that slides from uh, in from left. Thank you.